All right, sup bitches, Cat here, and we are playing a cloak and dagger game. I just woke up this morning to an email saying they released something. It's very apparently it's very short, point and click, like they do. Um, but yeah, we're gonna check this shit out. If it's anything like the uh, last two, this should be good. Okay. What am I doing? Nice throw, man. Terrible old man by H.P. Lovecraft, which I have no experience with, so this is new. Uh, begin. Um, so, Angelo, when are we going to blow this joint? I say we head out tomorrow. It's a few hours' drive to Boston. How long are we staying there for? Oh, I'd say just the night. We gotta keep moving. And then we head back to Arkham? That's right. I've been talking to a guy up there who might be able to get us some action, you know? <laughs> you know? Say, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? Oh, did you see him smile? Incredible. Zanik? Zanik. Why don't you get your pasty ass over there and give her your best line? Oh god, every time the face, the, the face just... Oh, it's weird. Maybe I will, maybe I will. And get us some beers while you're at it. You've still got some cash from the old broad the other day, night. What? You still got some cash from the old bra the other- Oh, he got some booty. Yeah, I got a few bucks left. I don't have a dime. Hell, that woman was so old she couldn't even get out of the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. Better old manual there spends it on hooch than let it sit there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. Damn right. Well then, get us some beers, boy. Cash and car key. Oh, this looked a little too old to be having cars. Three beers over here. Where are you guys from? Boston? Innsmouth? None of your goddamn business. Just give me some beers. Hey, this is my bar. You watch your manners, stranger. Please? That'll be two dollars, my foreign friend. Two dollars right here. Three beers coming up. Gosh darn it, the barrel is dry. I'm gonna have to go roll up a new one. Sit tight. Uh, Dickie eating his dinner yet? I swear he, we sat a whole chocolate cake in front of his face and he didn't so much as blink. The boy's been affected. You take him to the Doc Reeves, he'll get to the bottom of it. Well, he's only been acting strange since the, his run-in with that old fella the other night. I shouldn't have let the boy out so late. What happened? You know, that very old man, a former sea captain of some sort, you see him around town, pays for his groceries in golden doubloons, the, the, the doubloons. The blooms. I've heard about him, yeah, feeble and ancient. I heard he talks to bottles he has lined up on the table inside his house. Calls them names like Spanish Joe and Mate Ellis. Yeah, most particular chap. Best avoided, I think. No need to upset such folk. Something you need to teach Dickie, a bit of respect. So what happened was Dickie threw a stone at his window, you see? And the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talking to, I bet. Dickie won't talk about what exactly happened. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> He's a stupid boy. You go around throwing stones through old folks' windows and, well, they aren't going to be too happy, no matter how feeble they are. I've told him he's not leaving the house for a month apart from going to his lessons. I can't, I keep laughing, <laughs> keep laughing about their faces wiggling. He must be quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that, using gold coins for currency. The man must be sitting on a fortune. Tell me about it. I heard he captained clipper ships in the east unaccountable years back and brought back untold treasures. Beers. Sorry about the wait. Here's your beers. Thanks. Boys, you're not gonna believe it. You got a date with that broad? He wishes. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. Well, spit it out then. I heard those two chaps talking about a crazy old man who lives in town. So rich he pays for things in gold doubloons. Heck, gold doubloons? Yeah, he's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. <laughs> a rich and senile old fart. Ha <laughs> ha, this sounds like a clinch. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got to on offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. Where's the old man's house then? I don't know, they didn't say. Find out, Zanuck. Find out and we may find riches tonight. Say, fellas, what was that you guys were saying about an old man around these parts? What's it to you, stranger? Oh, I just overheard your story. He sounds like a character. Indeed he is. Shuffles about with his cane, dropping gold all over the show. Where does the old man live? His house is along the coast. A crumbling ancient pile it is, too. One of the oldest houses in Kingsport, I'd venture. What's the address? Oh, you're thinking of visiting him, aren't you? Why on earth would you want to see him for? A treasure hunter, are you? No! 
Good, the last thing we need in this town is outsiders bringing their wayward criminal ways with them. So why do you want to know his address? Why should we trust you outsiders? Should we interview him for a local paper or long lost relatives? Found something that belongs to him, we should return it. We're from the tax department, he owes us money. I think paper might work? We should interview him for a paper. Oh yes, what's the name of the local paper then? Oh, not the King's Poor Commune because then they'd know about us. Uh, the Times, wrong. You sir are a pathological liar. Oh shit, I blew my chance. Hello again. Oh, I suppose you still want his address. How do you know we can trust you, outsider? Can I just pick again? Wrong. Oh, fuck. Wrong. Oh, they're all wrong. Fuck. A traveling salesman. Oh, yes. What are you selling? Shoes. Can I have a look at them? I need some new shoes. Sure thing. I'm wearing them right here. You're wearing your stock? What better way to advertise? I've got boxes of them out in the car. Hey, those shoes look very worn. You're full of shit, stranger. Lies, lies, lies. Fuck. How do I get past these guys? Uh, we're long lost relatives. You expect to believe that? You're clearly not Kingsport stock. Fuck you. We found something that belongs to him. What's the item? An ornament. Let's have a look then. Ornament's out in the car. Bulldust. Get out of here. Fuck. Come on. We're from the tax department. He owes us money. You sh then surely you would have his address on file. Get lost. Fuck. 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 Well, did you say something about bottles? Something about bottles. Sometimes people see him through his window with a line of curious bottles sitting on a table. Each bottle has some sort of object inside. Pendulums, some say. And he's been seen to chat to them, waving his arms about. I'm afraid the old chap has seen his... Lost his mind. Seen his mind. Too much at time at sea. Was he a sea captain? Yes. Through back in a time nobody remembers, rumor has it, he spent decades in the Far East. You guys from Kingsport? Born and bred. Me too. Where are you from? Oh, a suburban Boston. City boy, eh? Cosmopolitan. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Mm, what else do you know about him? You're asking a lot of questions, stranger. Let's leave us be. What about the old man's address? Ah, oh, fuck. Later. I'm already dreaming of spending gold doubloons. What are you gonna buy, Manuel? A dog. One of them real fancy ones. Gonna name him Jackson. Got the address yet? I'm working on it. Let's talk to this broad. <laughs> say there, miss. Can I have a word with you? Leave me alone, greaseball. Hey, 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 no need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. Go conversate elsewhere, maybe to your mother. Ah! Ha, struck out again, Zanuck. Ah, suit yourself. Let's just see what the barman has to say. Do you know about that rich man who lives in town? Can't say that I do, you must. I don't gossip about locals, sir. This is a respectable town. <laughs> what can you tell me about those two guys at the bar? Hey, we're right here. Mind your own business, stranger. What he said. What can you tell me about that broad over there? She's in here working all the time. Doesn't look like she's up to much. What's her line of work? Why don't you ask her yourself later? Let me know when you want those drinks refilled. Fork and fork, there's gotta be something I can click on. Pictures! Some news clippings about an incident at the local port. They are from a paper called the Kingsport Bugle. Bugle. Bugle! All right, now I know it's called the Kingsport Bugle. I'm from the paper, bitches. The Bugle. Ha! That old rag hasn't been printed for years. Lies, 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 lies! Fuck. Not you again, I'm busy. Yeah, what are you working on apart from looking pretty? Mwah. Well, I might not look busy, but my job requires a lot of thinking. Yeah, what's your vocation? I'm a journalist. Whoa, big shot. Why am I talking to you? Say, you write for the paper? Yes, the Kingsport Daily Star. Interesting. Ha! Now get lost before I write an article about our job, job, job. Okay, okay, put your knickers back on, lady. <laughs> I am from the paper. I wish to interview him from the Daily Star. I got mixed up before us. We are from the Kingsport Daily Star. Nonsense. It's the truth. We're journalists from Boston. We do freelance work. It sounds like the old man could give us a great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of exploration, treasure, and chivalry. 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 Can't talk today. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying now. The old man lives up on Water Street. His property backs into Ship Street near the shore. Thanks. I appreciate it. We got the address, boys. Good work, Zanny boy. Where is it? Back entrance is on Ship Street by the harbor. Hey, we passed that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Zanek, you take the car. Silva and I will go on foot and meet you at the place. It's better if we arrive separately. Nice plan. Let's go, boys. There's treasure to be had. Dun 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 dun. All right, we're all here. What's the plan, boss? Silva, you and I will go through here, this here gate. Zanek, you stay on watch. Okay. Before we do anything though, looks like there's a light up here. Zanik, can you have a better look? We've got to make sure he ain't watching us. Well, we could try climbing up over this using that street pole, but the gate seems a more conventional choice. I'm not messing with the gate until we're set to go. Stones on the side of this wall, I ain't going up there. Any stones going up there. What do you want me to do? 
Can you get a closer look at that window? We need to double check what we are dealing with. Old man might have a shotgun fixed on us right now for all we know. Well, old man's house looks ancient. We don't have houses like that where I come from. That is for sure, but it smells in there. Musty old rotten socks or some such. What do you think of this place? Well, the house looks like it's seen better days. Hey, let's gab and get to work. Where do you think those standing stones are from? Beats me, they give me the creeps. Later, yeah. Okay, um, fuck. Oh, am I supposed to get something out of the trunk? Did I miss something? The trunk is locked by a solitary padlock. Man, bitch, give me the key. You don't have the key for the trunk, do you? No, I don't. Fuck, fuck. Don't tell me you've lost the goddamn keys, Anik. No, no. Do you have the key? Oh, balls, I do. Here you go. Thanks. Okay, a good robber always comes prepared. We've got a spyglass, a crowbar, and some masks. Are we pulling a heist? GTA heist up in this bitch. Have a look in the goddamn window. Nice. He's talking to his jars. He's in there. The silly old fool looks like he's the easiest target we've ever had. Good work, Zanuck. He really is talking to a bunch of old bottles. As long as we are quiet out here, he shouldn't notice us. He is engrossed in his queer little pursuits. Pathetic. You got our masks then? Masks. There are the masks. Okay, let's get the gate open. Yeah. Ha! We're in. Good work, Zanuck. Okay, Silva, let's go in. How are we gonna play it, boss? The old seed dog might not be too... loquacious? Concerning his treasures, we may need to make him talk. That's if the gold is even hidden. If he is as senile as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. Don't go too hard on the old goat. We'll do what we need to do. The screams of an old man can easily be muffled. Silva, you've hit the nail on the head. Zanuck, wait for us in the car. We should be back in an hour at the most. Sounds like a plan, Ricky. Remember, be gentle. So what do I do out here in the car? Oh, lights off. One hour later. What the hell is taking them so long? What happened? They better not have knocked the old fella off. I told them, I told them, I said don't go too hard on the old goat. Ah, here they come. Drive! Look at it! Oh! What the fuck? Things make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talked all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels, which the tide washed in. And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far off days of his unremembered youth. enjoyed it. It was short. Look at their faces. Based on the story by H.P. Lovecraft Parker's animation by John Inch. Adaption and programming by Sean Atchison. Music by Eric Matthias. 
and you buy Chris Jones, sound effects by people, special thanks to Laurie. Made in 30 days for the March 15 Max edition of Good Thing Games and stuff. Thanks for playing No Terrible Man, Cook Dad Games 2015. Alright guys, well that was the terrible old man. Barracuda egg? What is with these faces? Okay, well the game just shut off, so that's the end. Anyway, that was awesome. Another great game by Cloak and Dagger Games. Go check it out. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.